use your head. Right. Ghost Rider is brought to you in part by Nike. Additional bucks that keep our team supreme come from public television viewers like you and me. The Corporation for Public Broadcasting. The John Dean Catherine T. MacArthur Foundation. The Pew Charitable Trust. And the U.S. Department of Education. But you can't say it all in breath. I bet you can. Man, this is going to be the best talent show Hurston School ever had. First in Star Jam, we're live with talent. I guess Ghost Rider thinks so, too. Hey, but we're Walter and Kiambu. We have to start our committee meeting. Who is it? Yeah, move. About time. Where have you been? I got mugged. Some guys took my money. Sit down. Man, oh man. Here, put this on your eye. Thanks. What are we gonna do? My dad's at rehearsal. I'll call my parents. They're just downstairs. You should call yours too. Man, this stuff's been going down more and more at night around here. It's crazy. Really scared. We don't know where he came from. He just showed up one night. What is that thing? He's not an alien. What is he? We think he might be a ghost. Be serious. You can see that? He wants to be friends with us. He can't hear and he can't talk. He can read anything. He takes letters and he writes with them. We're the only ones who can see him. That means he wants you on the team. You have to promise. Never to tell anybody about Ghost Rider. Hey, cool. We're the Ghost Rider team. We check out clues and solve mysteries. He's a ghost and he writes to us. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider. What a trip. doesn't worry my dad too much. Dear parents and guardians, we the teachers and staff at Hurston are as concerned as you about the violence on our streets. We have talked to our students about safety to and from school. In addition, all outside doors will now be locked except for the front entrance. We assure you that Hurston remains a safe place. Sincerely, Ms. Beatrice Kelly, principal. My folks are starting to get worried, especially after what happened to Kiambu last night. How is he, anyway? He's okay. A couple guys got beat up just three blocks away from my house last Saturday. Yeah, Nito's cousin Ravi heard gunshots on the avenue the other day. Wow. I heard a new gang is moving into the neighborhood. That's why all this stuff's been going on. Really? Yeah, but at least nothing's been happening in the school. Yeah, we're safe here and ready to do our star jam. Oh, that's right. You guys aren't going home right away, are you? Nope, Star Jam committee meeting. Well, I'll see ya. All right, okay. see you later, Bye. Yo, Rob. Uh, I gotta go. Track practice. I'm writing an article on the team for the school newspaper. It's sort of gonna be like, what makes some people run track? Oh. Oh, well, I guess I'll just have to walk home by myself then. Not necessarily. Jasper. Didn't you say you wanted to ask her to the Star Jam? Uh, yeah, I, I so did, but... So here's your chance. Good luck, Mr. Cool. Oh, hi, Jamal. What's happening? Uh, hi, Jasmine. Yeah, Mr. Cool, right? You look like they're all good runners, Mr. Ward. Especially those two out front, Tony Boyd and Victor Torre. <laughs> Tony's been our best runner over the past year. Strong, consistent, but Victor's come along well since he transferred to Hurston two months ago. All right, you guys, come on, come on! Stride, stride! Watch this. Kick it out!
Great run, Victor. Great kick in the end. Thanks, Mr. Richards. All of you did well. Looks like we're going to have ourselves some great relay team. With me running the anchor legs, right, Coach? We'll see, Tony. I would have come in first, except my left leg started cramping up. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. You know, Tony, you should do those stretches I told you yesterday. Guys, this is Rob Baker. He's doing an article on the track team for the school newspaper. If he's got any questions, help him out, OK? Mr. Richards, I thought you were just an English teacher. Hey, I'm not just anything. I used to run track in my day. As a matter of fact, back in high school, I was the hurdles champion. Cool. You can write that down now if you want to. Write what down? That I'm the anchor man on the relay team. You know, the fourth guy, the one who gets to cross the finish line. Yeah, I know what anchor means. Come on, Tony. Let's go do those stretches. <laughs> That was a great run, man. You been running track long? Uh-uh. So what's it feel like to explode down the track? You ever run track? Uh, well, no. My family moved right before the track season started, and I sort of forgot about it. Look, the only real way to feel it is to do it. Maybe I will. Good. Catch you later. Come in. Well, hi, sugar. Good day. It was okay. Now, I know that something is bugging you. Uh, I forgot. We got a notice from the principal. Oh. Dear parents and guardians, we, the teachers and staff at Hurston, are as concerned as you about the violence on our streets. We have talked to our students. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I'm glad they're taking care of security at the school. Yeah. Campbell got beat up right near Lenny's last night. Oh. They say it was because a new gang is moving in, but I don't get it. Why beat people up? What's the point? Well, I wish I knew a simple answer to that question. Some people are so full of hurt and anger inside. Their lives are hard and they want things, and the only way they can think of to get what they want is to take it from others or hurt them or... I don't know. It's scary. Yes, it is. And it's dangerous, and you and your friends need to be extra careful. We will. You know, Jamal, I'm glad you're thinking about these things. And I'm glad you asked me. Now, I may not have answers to all your questions, but uh, you know you can always come to me when anything's bothering you, right? I know. No, no, hold, hold up. Now, now, come on, bro. Back me up here, man. Back you up? But you're wrong, Walter. Period. Besides, Lenny's in charge. She is a director. Yeah, right. So that's what this is about, isn't it? The fact that you're not the director. OK, uh, look, what if we share the job? No, look, you can keep your job, because I quit. What? You quit? You can't quit. You collected the sign of sheet. You're the only one that knows what kinds of acts we have. Yeah. And I sorted them out, too, didn't I? OK, now we've got our rehearsal all organized. Why don't we put you together? Not hey! What'd you do that for? Walter, you know how hard we all worked getting the principal to let us run the star gym without a teacher? Do you want us to look like idiots now? The kids will be here in 10 minutes, and look at this mess. Yeah. What a shame. Well, that's just great. For all we know, we could have 10 kids standing on their heads chewing bubble gum. OK, OK, um, let's not panic. What we need to do is sort these sheets so that we know what types of acts we have. That way, we'll know what we've got before the kids come busting through that door. For instance, here's someone doing ballet. Here's a four fake crew's fabulous hip hop number. That's two dancing acts. Let's make a dance pile. Rebecca's going to sing, I'll be there. Paul's playing his electric guitar.
guitar again. Instruments. That's three groups already. Dancing, singing, and instruments. A piano piece. Instruments. More singing, more instruments. I'll label these piles. A gymnastics act. That's a new pile. <laughs> hey, here's a kid who talks to a dummy. <laughs> hey, wait, I've got another singer. That goes on the singing pile. The Bronson triplets are doing a skit. We have three piles and a few little piles that don't go together. <sighs> hey, I know how we can make them go together. But they're all different. You'll see. Everything in this pile is not dancing, not singing, not instruments. Not. Yeah. Yeah, cool idea. Now we know what we've got. And I have a feeling this is going to be the best Star Jam ever. Yeah. Yeah, and we got it together just in time, too. to uh, slide on over to the Star Jam next week with me. You know, check out what's happening, what's happening. If I want to. Oh, Jamal. I'd go with you anywhere. Anytime. Jamal. 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 I know you're in there somewhere. Uh, uh sorry, Grandma. Well, did you have a nice trip? Where? Wherever you went. Uh, yeah. Um, if you don't have any plans for that garbage sitting next to you... Uh, like I was just getting ready to, uh, take it out. Good. Oh, Jasmine. We're ready for our second rehearsal. I've got my list of props and sound equipment together. How about kids to take tickets? Got them. I'll have the program ready to be printed by the beginning of next week. What about your opening speech? Is it finished? No sweat. I'm writing the first draft tonight. Star Jam, here we come. Oh, did I hear somebody call my name? No. Well, I see you guys got kind of lucky, you know, organizing your acts yesterday. That wasn't luck, Walter. No skill. Well, let's just hope you have skill. Doesn't run out anytime soon. You know, now I'm glad he's off the committee. Hey, Victor. What? I've decided to do it. That is, work out with the track team. That's cool. What's the matter? I mess up on the social studies test, man. This stuff is whack. Yeah, I'm not too hot in social studies either. Hey, take it easy. You're gonna hurt the locker. Hey, man! Excuse me, Mr. Torres. Why don't you watch where you're going? <laughs> Look, I said excuse me in the first place. You're the one that bumped into me. The bitch. Just get out of my face, man, okay? I'm not in your face. Hey, guys. Don't hey, 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 Break it up. Break it up. Now, what's going on here? I said, what is going on here? Sorry, Mr. Ward. Just a little misunderstanding. That's all. Walter? Walter? 
Yes, sir, that's all it was. Well, no kind of misunderstanding calls for be grabbing each other, fighting. Now, is that understood? Hmm? Yes, sir. Victor? Yes, sir. Okay, everybody, go to your classes. Don't stand around. Come on, move it. Man, that dude's gonna be nothing but trouble at this school. What's that all about? Ladies and gentlemen, I want to introduce the Hurston Star Jam. That's lame. My fellow Hurstonites, as your Hurston Star Jam director, what? I can't do this. I'll never get the speech written. Who asked to be the director of this show anyway? You did, Lenny. You did. Find your own way to say it? like somebody exploded a bomb in my lungs. <laughs> that was fun, though. And it's not like I've never run in my life before. Yeah. Exploding, huh? That's what running track feels like to me. Like I'm exploding. But in a good way, I mean. Come on. It's a cool chain. Thanks. What's it mean? My initials. Your initials? Yeah. Like this. V, the victor. And T, the Taurus. Cool. Hey! The next time you walk through my name, man, you're gonna come out the other side gasping for air. I'm out of here. I'll walk with you. You sure you still can walk? You're very funny. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I've liked writing since I was really young. I like it, all right. But it's hard. Yeah, to really do it takes some work. And a whole lot of time. You gotta care about it. Sort of like running. Yeah, it's like exploding your thoughts onto the page. Yo, Victor! What's up, bro? Who are they? Thunderheads. Oye, vente. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Tú no quieres hablar conmigo? I gotta get home, Miguel. Yeah. So who's the white boy? Name's Rob Baker. Oh, so funny. Chill, man, okay? Yo, Victor, man. Why you be putting so much distance between us, man? I know you not trying to diss me. Nah, I, uh, I've been busy. Busy, ah, huh? you'll say, you'll say, yeah, I see, yeah, new school, big track star. Yeah, man. Yo, that's deep. But what about your boys, man? I gotta go. So you still got the gold chain I bought you? We're still friends, Miguel. Maybe. Look, tell me something. Who's gonna watch your back at Hurston School, huh? Rob? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm 
Are you in that gang? Used to be. Oh, wow, man. Look, let's get one thing straight about the Thunderheads. They don't be stabbing people and, and shooting people and stuff, okay? It's just not like that, okay? Okay. I gotta go. Uh, wait, I'll see you in school. Wait, boy. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> but you can't be in the Star Jam. You don't go to Hurston. I told you. But, well, what if you performed with us? That'd be different. Great. But I'm not gonna. I can barely get my own act together. What's your act? Well, I'm supposed to be writing the opening speech for the show. But nothing I've written is right. And I'm supposed to have the first draft written by tonight. I'm the director. Everybody's counting on me. Maybe we can help. Yeah. What's your speech supposed to say? It's supposed to introduce the show, get everybody psyched. So what's the problem? I don't know. I just... Listen to this. Folks, the theme of this year's Star Jam is We're Alive with Talent. We're starting out with a song by the Gunther Sisters, then Joel and his crew are going to do a rap. Do you see? Blah, blah. Boring. I'm not saved by this, are you? Just can't do this. I hate writing. You can't hate writing all that much. You write songs, don't you? Writing songs is different. But it's still writing. How do you do it? How do you come up with those neat ideas? I don't know, I just... Hey, wait a minute. Maybe if I think of my speech as a song when I try to write it, it'll be easier to get the words down. Yeah, and I bet it won't sound boring either. To make it my kind of song, it's gotta be funkier than this. start with Hurston's Alive with Talent. We've got some of it right here. That sounds good. Then open up your eyes and turn on your ears. All right. Yes. I'm psyched now. Be able to do this now. So, what's this really personal question you need to ask me? Well, am I a white boy to you? Yeah. Just a white boy? Well, you didn't say just. You're not just a white boy. You're a good friend. Um, you know, we hang out together. And we're on the same team. But hey, you are white. And you're a boy. Well, not a boy. You know, a, a guy. Like me. I wouldn't want to be called black boy, even though I am black. Or, actually, I'm brown. And you, you're pink. If that's it. A pink guy. Mm. Mm. Why'd you ask that question anyway? This afternoon, this Latino kid called me a white boy. Doesn't matter. It was like he was cursing me. Have you ever been called black boy like that? Mm-hmm. Other things, too. It's the first time it happened to me. 
Did this kid know you? Mm-mm. Well, my dad says that's one of the reasons why people call other people names. They don't know them. And sometimes they don't even want to. Or maybe they're scared. Thanks, man. No problem. Ah, by the way, did you talk to Jasmine yet, Mr. Cool? <laughs> Whoa, guess <laughs> Do this to our school. We've got to find out what's going down. 